families are searching for answers after unexpected arrests in Madison yesterday by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. Area lawyers are helping out, but they say there are many barriers in place for immigrants in need of legal representation. Our Madeline O'Neill is here in the News Center to explain. Maddie. Amanda, Madison City leaders, including Mayor Paul Soglin and Police Chief Mike Koval, are surprised by yesterday's six arrests, saying ICE went against protocol by not alerting the agreed-upon authority. You can only imagine how families feel as they look for help that's not readily available in our area. Families are totally miserable right now. This city is known for welcoming immigrants. Madison is a great place. We have neighbors and when something bad happens to our neighbors, we want to help them. But when it comes to offering legal protection, some say Madison is lacking. Not all of them are bad people and uh, most of what we want is just to have a due process for them and uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, difficult. It's a systemic problem. Immigration lawyer Grant Sovereign heads the Community Immigration Law Center inside Madison's Christ Presbyterian Church, while John Renee Wachu is the church's outreach director. Already, we have too many people that we're helping to even work on this situation. Since finding out, ICE arrested six people in the area Friday. We sympathize for the families. It's tough for everybody. Sovereign's been keeping busy, helping the families try to locate those arrested. They're taken to places that are not in Madison. Trying to figure out the charges against them. We don't have any of the charging documents. And finding them lawyers. The first thing I thought of is we don't have enough lawyers to help them. In Madison, Sovereign says there are only two lawyers who help immigrants pro bono in situations like this. This. So without a lawyer, you have virtually no chance. Without legal representation, he says as few as 4% of immigrants win their cases compared to as many as 48% with lawyers. In his mind, that's not a fair shake for his neighbors. We should have a system that we at least know there's someone who's going to represent that person and help them to figure out what happened. Again, that doesn't mean they're not going to get deported or they're not going to go in front of an immigration judge, but just who is going to help them. We reached out to ICE and haven't immediately heard back. Currently, there are a lot of unknowns, including what the charges may be against those arrested. Those who are contacted by ICE or who have concerns can call the Dane County Immigrant Affairs Specialist at 608-242-6260. And Dane County is one of the first in the country looking into a public defender program for those facing deportation. All right. Thank you so much, Maddie.